Hi everyone, Vapory Wave Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new 2814 record, Rain Temple. What the hell is 2814? It is a collaborative music project featuring fellow ambient music artists, Telepath and Hong Kong Express. Both of them associated with the vaporwave scene, specifically the subset of it revolving around the Dream Catalog label. Now their previous full-length record, which dropped last year, not only put this collaborative duo on the map, it was one of the biggest ambient records of the year, arguably you could say one of the biggest records in vaporwave. Still though, it did not click with me personally, even though I appreciated how ambitious and conceptual the album seemed. Plus, I also liked the hazy, mystical, retro-futuristic aesthetic of the music, too. However, it seems like the duo is drifting away from exactly that on this latest release here, working in elements of ambient techno and even down-tempo into some of these cuts. And the soundscapes on Rain Temple are actually a little chillier, a little more digital and pristine, I would say. The nostalgic warmth of Birth of a New Day has melted away a little bit. And while I think generally change for 2814 is a good thing because there were elements of the last record I didn't really care for, I'm still finding myself having reservations with this latest record over here. It's just the flavor is somewhat different this time. There are two main components to this record. One, you have the variety of repetitive, hypnotic, minimalistic compositions that go into these eight tracks, which occasionally feature maybe like an epic instrumental build or something. And then you have the sonic component of this record, the sounds of the synths, the textures, the mixing, the sound effects, and the sound effects that were used in the process of giving these tracks a wide panoramic feel. Now there are moments on this record where both of these elements are as great as I could hope for them to be, like on the track Before the Rain, which is a stellar intro. I love the chilling and slow-mo synth leads that call out drearily over the fractured piano arpeggios that kind of hang and cascade over one another in the background. It sounds like something out of a big budget sci-fi movie from the 80s. I would say it's emotionally powerful as well, which is great because I think there were a lot of moments on Birth of a New Day that were a little emotionally sterile for my taste. And then the momentum of this intro track continues onto the next song, which features a pretty prominent rhythm and synth bass line. It's sort of cerebral the way it works on you. The groove is slow but hard. There are all sorts of droning synth keys popping up in the background and these twinkling leads that are shy but glisten beautifully. However, these sounds kind of lose their flavor over the course of the track's 11 minute runtime. If 2814 was gonna step this far outside of the ambient comfort zone of their past couple of records, they could have at least put together a composition that moves from point A to point B. While the sounds on this track are good, it's not like they stay fresh at this level of repetition. There are a few interesting variations over the course of the track, but not so many that they fill up the very long runtime. I kind of feel the same way about the 10 minute cut this body, as well as the song Transference, which is only eight minutes but still gets pretty stale pretty quickly with this very dreary two chord progression which is set against some pretty strange sound effects that don't really enhance the mood of the song at all. There's a lot of texture on this track but none of it's really that well organized. The song Lost in a Dream I think is where a lot of people are picking up the down tempo vibe as some very distant and shy vocals pop up in the dense mix that the instrumental provides. And while the vocals are okay, I feel like they're not all that well complemented by the sour synths that I think are providing a different mood than the vocals are. Though much of what else ends up in the track I think is okay. The rain sound effects and the kind of sparse but primal percussion. The song Guided by Love is one of my favorites and features this haunting, thick, beautiful wall of synthetic droney sound and it kind of sounds like new age music for a new age. The song Contact is equally seductive and pretty and glides right into the very rhythmic closer inside the sphere, which is a track that sounds like if, if this album had been a movie, this is the moment where the credits are rolling. And the song does give the album some sense of closure as the project seems to finish off with the same progressive synth vibes that it opened up with. Overall, I would say this is a pretty decent record. It has a pretty strong start, 
a semi-strong finish, but much of what goes on in the middle is a little bland to me. It's cool that Vaporwave and the Dream Catalog label have done wonders for the genre of ambient music, even if a lot of the ambient music on the label is under the Vaporwave name. The label and the artists on the label have to get the credit they deserve for actually getting this new generation to care about ambient music. But outside of the cultural petri dish that projects like 2814 were grown in, it's hard to see this album as all that revolutionary or interesting, especially since on this new record over here they seem to have changed stylistic course into some genres that are already very well established. This thing has its moments, but I feel like I need to be sipping on some kind of Kool-Aid in order to be head over heels for it. I'm feeling a decent strong six on this thing. Transition! Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like. If you like, please subscribe and please don't cry if you disagree with my thoughts on this record. 2814, Rain Temple, forever.